patient. Broncos fans aren't patient when it comes to quarterbacks. Anyways, at Manitou Springs High School, they are bucking the trend. Unlike many of their contemporaries, the Mustangs have many multi-sport athletes. And as Danny Mata tells us, those multi-sport athletes are getting maximum results. It's been some kind of year for Manitou Springs. The Mustangs went to the Final Four in basketball for the first time in 30 years. The football team has won four straight, and the soccer team won the league title for the first time ever. And those three sports feature a bunch of the same players. The same guys who did this... ...are now doing this. We know what kind of talent we have out here, so I think... We kind of expected something pretty good, but we definitely did surprise ourselves with the way we've been playing. The football players had four days to prep for the season once basketball ended. They actually missed the first game of the year, the only one the team has lost. And guys like Isaiah Thomas are playing football and football. Being able to make football practice and then go to games, um, yeah, it gets pretty busy. And sometimes when he's playing soccer, he gets confused. During practice all the time, a ball will come at my face and I just, just, <laughs> just catch the ball. It's the kind of schedule that only exists during a pandemic. But these guys have made the most of it, making history across three sports at the same time. I feel like we kind of expected how good we're doing. Just, I don't know, we've played all these sports forever and uh, just kind of playing how we always played as a team. With the Mustangs, Danny Mata, KRDO News Channel 13 Sports. Thank you, Danny. And the great thing is when you grow up in a smaller community like Manitou Springs, yeah. from the time you're this high, you play with these guys Same all guys. the way through their senior year of yeah. high school. Yeah. And this junior and senior class at Manitou Springs mm -hmm. High School especially, they're a competitive bunch, and that's why they're producing some great results on their uh, playing fields in whatever season it yeah. may be. Right now it's soccer boy soccer and football season and they're both having success in fact the soccer team currently playing in a playoff game right now then in a couple of days some of those guys will play football That's so right. it's really yeah. neat to see kids not specializing in one sport right. even in high school because the pressure is there for many student athletes cohesiveness especially with them knowing each other for so yeah. long right yeah, yeah it's like you and i heather we've known each other for what 100 <laughs> years now yeah it's just and it just it feels that way doesn't it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for us tonight at